At this point, I've consumed so much productivity content that I feel like I should be a walking, talking robot. There's so much great advice out there, but there's also so many hacks and so many tips which I've tried, which just didn't work for me at all. And in today's video, I want to share them. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share the one thing that I think is the most important thing for productivity. Kudos to whoever came up with SMART goals. It's a genius acronym and I even got taught it at school, which means it must be really good. But I don't really get it and I don't think it's the most important thing when considering goals. Instead of SMART goals, I set dark goals. If you want to know what that is, I have a video about it. But in short, I just think SMART goals are only half of the puzzle. I think sometimes SMART goals can actually be quite unhealthy if you think about it too much. Let's take this YouTube channel as an example. So let's say I wanted to set a SMART goal about growing this channel. Channel. So I could set a SMART goal to reach X amount of subscribers by X time, making X amount of videos every week. But there's so many aspects to this goal which I can't control. So if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna feel really crappy about it. You might set a goal to lose a certain amount of weight by a certain date or deadlift a certain amount of weight by a certain date. If you fail, you're gonna feel bad about yourselves and you might end up pushing yourself to reach a goal by a certain date that it becomes really unhealthy. In my opinion, I think SMART goals are are just a nicely packaged way of talking about affirmations. If you've read The Secret and if you know about the law of attraction, you'll know what I'm talking about. But SMART goals just remind me of this idea of visualizing something happening by a certain date and being really, really specific. Now don't get me wrong, I do think there are certain aspects of SMART goals that are really important. Like I think it's great for us to be specific and I think it's really important for us to be realistic. But I don't think goals should make you feel pressured for time or make you feel bad. And I think there are just healthier ways to set goals and I also don't think we should set too many goals either. So the advice out there is that you should do the hardest task first so that it's out of the way, but I found that that doesn't work for me at all. I found that if I do the hardest task first, two things happen. One, I feel really accomplished, and two, it drains me so then I have no energy to do anything else. I find that if I start with easier tasks or things that I really want to do first, it really helps to build momentum and it really helps me to get into a flow state and that makes it so much easier to get everything else done. I never review my planner, I never check my calendar, I never set to-dos or anything like that the night before because it means that when I go to bed, I start to overthink and it feels like I'm living the day before it's even started. I sometimes get really anxious and stressed and that disturbs my sleep and I feel like sleep is more important for productivity. I love my evenings to be a time where I can just relax and unwind and just completely switch off from everything. I use that time to dissociate myself from work or any products that I have going on. I know most people think it's good to get a head start on something, but I think relaxing is sometimes more important. Okay, so I feel like people are gonna hate me for this one because it's such a popular technique, but hear me out. So whilst I do think that the Pomodoro technique is really helpful, one of the most important things that contribute to my productivity is being in the moment and being in a flow state. I think it's really hard to get into a state of flow where you're not distracted by anything else. So when you're in that state, why would you want an alarm to get you out of it? It's like if you're in bed and you're really struggling to fall asleep and then finally you get to sleep and then your alarm wakes you up and you can't get back to sleep. You're irritated as anything. Thing. So obviously I do really value breaks and I don't recommend getting burnout by working non-stop but I think a state of flow would not happen for such extended periods of time. And that's why I think that whenever you do get into a state of flow, you just need to protect it. I only ever really use the Pomodoro technique if I'm really unmotivated to do something and if I think that a flow state is unlikely to happen. You guys know that I love planning and organizing and I love Notion and I love my Notion setup so much, but I do think there's a massive problem with over planning. Firstly, I feel like we spend too much time trying to perfect our planning system than we do actually planning and just executing on action. I've watched millions of Notion videos with really cool setups like August Bradley's, but I think those sorts of setups are really complex and would only really serve businesses where you've got team members or you've got systems or processes. I feel like for the regular non-robotic human that just way too much. And I think the same sometimes applies to bullet journals, don't kill me. I feel like sometimes we put too much energy into perfecting our setups that we don't actually use it effectively. I've tried all of these really complicated things, but in the end, I found that simple setups really do serve me. And sometimes even just getting a scrap of paper and just writing things down. The other problem that I have with planning is planning makes you feel like you've actually accomplished something. James Clear talks about this in Atomic Habits. He talks about being in motion versus being in action. So when you're in motion, that's when you're planning for things 
things but when you're in action you're actually doing it and when you spend too long in motion you feel like you've actually accomplished something and you end up procrastinating and you don't get onto action so it's really important to have a balance of the two Unless there's a magic fairy sprinkling productivity dust around people who wake up at 5 a.m., I don't understand how waking up at 5 a.m. makes you any more productive as a person. Some people are night owls and they're just not morning people at all. So if they wake up at 5 a.m., they're just gonna be grouchy. Now, ironically, I actually am a morning person and I have woken up at 5 a.m. so many times back when I was working full time because I wanted to go to the gym in the mornings before work. And the only reason for that was that I hated how busy the gym was in the evening. But that was more from a practical standpoint. I was only doing it because it made sense to me. It had nothing to do with trying to be more successful or trying to be more productive. Nowadays, I still wake up early, but maybe not as early, but I like to use my mornings for myself anyway. My mornings don't tend to go towards work or any sort of productivity. It's more about mindfulness. So I feel like this tip is really irrelevant and I feel like it can make you feel really bad if you're not a morning person. I feel like there's no point in trying to put so much energy into trying to change your sleep schedule when you can put that energy into actually being productive. There's this quote that I really like, which says that people overestimate what they can do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a year. And calendar blocking is meant to overcome this, but holy mother of dragons, it is just so irritating. I'm really bad at working out how long a task needs, and I always tend to underestimate it. And that's really, really irritating. And I'm sure I would get better at it if I tried to continue with time blocking, but the problem is it just feels so rigid and structured. Yes, I do want to be productive, but I also want to have fun. And I also just want to have some flexibility ability in my life. Like I might work on a task, but what if I decide to change my mind because I'm more motivated to do something else? I don't want to feel bad for it. And I feel like time blocking does make me feel bad if I've not stuck to it. I feel like time blocking would only benefit people if they've got scheduled things with other people involved. But otherwise I just think it's just too rigid. So those are the things that I don't follow. And here's the thing that I do follow. And I think is the most important thing for productivity and that's having fun. You know those really productive people that you see and you look at them and you just think, how on earth are they doing that? It's because they bloody love it and they don't see it as work. When you're having fun, you're not going to get distracted because you're really going to love what you're doing. Productivity is deeply personal. So some of the things which didn't work for me might work for you. I think it's so important to remember that we're all so different. So we can't rely on productivity books or productivity videos to give us the answers. We have to find them ourselves and find what works for us. So stay intentional and go create some magic.